Hi everyone, it's Heather. I know I haven't done a video in a few weeks, but there really hasn't been much going on. So now I actually have my books and I have the vast majority of my supplies and school starts in a week. So I just thought I would do a fairly short video about what supplies I'm gonna be bringing with me on my first day and the books that I'm using for my first semester. So. Um, just picked up my books a little while ago, like an hour or so ago, so I'm just barely starting to look at them. First we have Respiratory Care Exam Review. Um, I don't think that this book is something that we're going to be using right away. This is um, a book that's going to be primarily for the TMC exam, the Therapist Multiple Choice exam. Um, that's not until the end of the program. So I, while I have this book now, I don't think it's going to be used very much right away. Um, the next one is Wilkins Clinical Assessment in Respiratory Care, eighth edition. Um, this is going to be the book that we use primarily, I believe, for lab. And then I have Cardiopulmonary Anatomy and Physiology, um, which I'm using for my anatomy and cardiopulmonary anatomy and physiology class, which some of the people in my program have already taken, but because of various things that I've talked about in other videos, I did not end up taking before the program started. So I'm taking that this semester. And then of course, as anyone who has looked at anything respiratory school related probably has seen, we have Egan's. Everyone uses Egan's. Um, this is the 11th edition. I did go ahead and buy it new. I bought all of them new. It just seemed easier, frankly. So those are my books for the semester. I am taking a pharmacology class starting in October, but we don't have a book for that. So I'm a little bit nervous about not having a book. I guess I'm going to wait and see what, um, what resources were given in the class. They may have everything printed out. It may be all in PowerPoints. I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna wait and see what they have to offer, but it, there is a possibility I may decide to go ahead and buy a respiratory pharmacology book just because I learn well from books like that. So it may be it'll fill out knowledge. I don't know, I won't know until the class comes around. Um, the other thing I have is this respiratory care book that was actually given to me by um, a teacher that I had last year for a respiratory therapy class. I actually run into him on a regular basis at a local bookstore and so he and I will sit and chat occasionally and um, he was cleaning out some of his books. He and his wife were um, both respiratory therapists. They're both retired now and so he thought of me and brought that for me and I thought that was really nice. So um, this is something that's just like a little quick guide. I've looked through it a fair amount already. Um, I imagine it's going to be something that I will keep with me in clinicals as well. Um, I also have a whole bunch of flashcards, and these are flashcards that I made from my respiratory therapy class that I had last year, as well as I have taken some information, normal values and things out of this little book here um, and made some flashcards. And that's just to, I've been kind of going over those here and there this summer just to try and um, get back some of the knowledge that I got from that one class that I probably have not retained. Uh, other things I'm taking with me, so I have my backpack here, pretty standard backpack. I have notebooks. I like composition notebooks to take notes in. Um, you can't really rip out the pages or anything like that, and some people don't like that. I personally like to have it all in one place. So those composition notebooks, they're small enough to carry around easily, and they seem to work well for me. And then to go along with my notebooks, I have my pencil case, and I have all different colors of pens because I find it nice to write my notes in different colors just so that I can do like a heading in this color and then all the information and maybe vocabulary words, you know, in one color. So it helps me when I'm going back and studying, it helps it to not be all one color and my brain just can't really comprehend what I'm seeing. Um, I have a couple of highlighters in here. I have a calculator. I have my laptop 
is going to be coming with me when I go to school. Um, I have some index folders, divider folders that have pockets. I'm going to be getting a um, fairly small three ring binder to put those in and that's just for handouts and, and um, loose papers that I need to keep for classes. And then I have, this is my stethoscope case. So I have an MDF stethoscope. Um, I bought that the beginning of the summer, something like that. Um, people use Litman, MDF, I mean there's lots of different ones. The MDF is supposed to be a decent quality stethoscope and I liked the pretty colors that I could get it in. So I went ahead and got an MDF. Um, we'll see. I think that it's probably going to work just fine for me. Other people may have different opinions about what's better, but um, at this point I don't know what I'm going to like better. So it's cheap enough that if I decide later I would like to get something else, I'm not going to feel like I threw my money away on the MDF. Um, one other thing I'm, I'm supposed to have is a wristwatch or a watch to, um, that has a sweeping second hand. I don't like to wear things around my wrist. Um, it bothers me. So I actually bought a pack of these lapel pin watches so I can put them, I can pin them on anywhere. Um, the little clock face actually comes out. So if I need to clean the whole thing, it's easy to do. And it came in a pack of like 12. So I have a whole bunch of them if one of them quits working. So I have a couple of them put here in my stethoscope case. I have extra little ear things and the little name tag that comes with the stethoscope. I haven't put that on yet. Um, so that's just a little hard case zip up. I figure with shoving stuff in and out of my bag, it's probably a good idea to have my stethoscope in something where it's not going to get too messed up. Um, oh, and then I also have Kleenex and pencil sharpener and chapstick and even um, um, some a little little like toothbrush things just in case I have bad breath or I eat onions for lunch or something like that. Um, I've got a flash drive to put various things on that I might need. I have a bunch of change in here that have been accumulating over the semesters. Um, that's pretty much all of the stuff that I plan on taking. I don't plan on taking all of my books with me every day. There may be a time where I'm going to have a study group and I want to have books. There may be a teacher who says we need to bring our book with us, but but frankly the books are heavy, especially Egan's, and I don't really think I want to carry that around with me. So I don't plan on it at this point, but we'll see. That may change. So I don't have a ton of stuff that I'm going to be taking. And I don't need scrubs or anything like that this semester, so I'm pretty much set at this point. The only thing I haven't gotten yet is the three ring binder to put my divider and folder index things in. Um, and oh, and I have a huge bunch of flashcards because I am a big believer in flashcards and they've helped me a lot so far and I plan on continuing making flashcards. And I like colored ones, as you can see. Um, they help me... I don't know how other people remember things because I'm only in my own brain, but for me, when I'm trying to remember a specific thing that I've written on a flashcard, I can actually see it in my head and having it written in it on a certain color flashcard helps me to recall it. I can be like, oh yeah, that was on a green flashcard and this is what it said on it. So I can actually see the, the picture of the flashcard in my head and that's, that's part of how I remember stuff. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of the same for other people. I don't know. So that's pretty much it. That's books, that's supplies. Um, and if there's anything else that you can think of that's essential that I carry with me, obviously I'm going to have like my ID and I don't carry a wallet. I don't carry a purse. I just put my ID and a credit card in my back pocket and that's how I um, get around most of my days. Um, I might get a little thing of um, hand sanitizer. That might be a good idea to carry with me. But other than that, I think I'm pretty good to go. So let me know what you're bringing with you to your first day of school. And if you've already had your first day of school, let me know how it went. And I will be doing another video uh, when I get home from my first day next Tuesday. All right. See you later.